Hello everybody. I'm out here putting on the miles. Man, I am just a few days away. I'm so excited right now. Can't come sane myself. I could probably run a New York marathon right now. I have so much energy and adrenaline going on. So like I said, I'm a handful of days uh, away from stepping foot on trail. I am more than ready right now to start. Um, but I'm just trying to keep myself in check but I wanted to do a quick video today on uh, some tips for older hikers and yes I fall into that category I am 54 years old if you are new to my channel I am a solo female aspiring through hiker I'm a day hiker section hiker and small through hikes at this point attempting to through hike the Appalachian Trail this year in 2024 and I have five tips for us uh, middle-aged older folks and the first one that I have learned from my attempt last year that I was not successful is I now focus a lot on my supplements and my diet research the supplements that maybe you should be taking at your age that'll help make sure that your muscles are getting what they need and uh you know uh, pre-workout post-workout and uh and so forth also diet i am uh i am no sugar or low sugar i should say uh high proteins high proteins and then depending on the workouts that i'm doing that day uh, if there's carbs in there, lots of fruits and vegetables. I always have plenty of vegetables that are roasted and ready to be eaten at any given time. So supplements and diet, that's number one. Two is stretching. There is, I mean, you'd really have to stretch a lot to hit the limit of stretching that you should be doing when you're middle-aged. If you're going to be doing any type of uh, intensive physical activity. Research what stretches are working for you and what you need based on where you're tight and what type of workouts that you're doing. I'm not going to go into details. I'm just simply saying these are the things that you probably need to put a little time and effort into uh, adding into your routine if you especially are going to through hike um, but you're going to pursue something like that. The third one um, for you know older hikers trekking poles baby if you have never used trekking poles before as you get older they are wonderful for our stability and balance that changes as we get older not there's a lot of there's a lot of things you can use for trekking poles um you know also as a security thing if you gotta whack somebody <laughs> that's a whole different video um, the number four thing that I started, um, that I've added into my wardrobe is compression sleeves. I'll be taking compression sleeves with me on the trail and wearing those sometimes when I hike and uh, when I feel it's needed. Probably, you know, every day, at least for a while, I'll wear them, whether it's first thing in the morning or whether it's later in the day. The final thing that I just really want to say to everybody is, isn't this pretty behind me? This is really like a lake. It's not here right now. But anyhow, is listen to your body and make adjustments based on your body. Listen to your body and make adjustments as necessary. What works for somebody else may not work for you. Um, so just listen and then make the changes and adjust as needed. And that is going to, you can't, there's no spreadsheet. There's no single YouTube video series that you can watch. Um, I have been watching YouTube videos for years and years and years. And what I have done is I have taken the best of what I needed from all of those videos and kind of created the way that I need to work out, the stretching that I need, the diet that I need to have, and the activity level that I need to be doing to as best prepare myself this year to be successful. I've learned a lot since last year. Um, was I premature jumping off, you know, with plantar fasciitis? I don't know. Um, you know, the longer that I stay part of the community, you know, a lot of people hike with a lot of different injuries. 
And so I think you need to find the balance between is this something that I can push through or is this something that I need to get off trail or is this something that I just need to get off for a week and just take care of myself and just really be flexible. If anything, hiking a through hike is going to give you a, uh, an education on flexibility that is uber important for you to be successful. You, don't over plan don't overthink um really it's just where am i where am i gonna try to lay my head at the end of the day and just take it one step at a time one day at a time and you'll be successful in your through hike so that's it i'm gonna recap one supplements and diet if you don't have a good diet right now and you're not supplementing find what you need collagen is another one i've added that's made a huge difference in my joints Stretching is number two. Trekking poles is number three. Compression socks, sleeves, whatever. Um, and then number five, listen to your body and adjust as needed. Okay, so I hope that helps everybody um, give you some ideas of things that you might, if you're whatever, over, whatever older we say, older hiker, but some of those things are also pertinent no matter what age you are. 